Hello, I'm Dave from DDM Works. Today we're going to be talking about the EVAP perch solenoid located on the 2 liter LNF cars. With the higher boost pressures that we're starting to see with tune cars, uh, larger turbo cars, we're starting to see a lot of these uh, EVAP perch solenoids fail. Um, the EVAP perch solenoid is located on the driver's side of the engine on the intake manifold. It's this piece right here. It's a little plastic piece with a single electrical connection on top and a hard plastic line going to the top of it also. It's simply held in place by a single 10 millimeter head bolt which is located right there. The job of the EVAP purge solenoid is to basically allow the ECM to control the uh, EVAP emissions that are built up in the gas tank back there and allows those fumes to be entered into the engine at a predetermined rate at, at predetermined times. When we start seeing these EVAP purge solenoids go bad, what happens is that it allows the the gas fumes inside the tank to enter into the engine when the ECM is not commanding it to do so, particularly when the car is sitting there um, not being ran. And this causes a hard start situation when you go to start try to start the car. The car will turn over, but it just won't want to start. You can usually get the car to start if the solenoid's bad by giving it about half throttle, and that will usually clear it out enough to allow it to start the car. Um, to check the EVAP purge solenoid is really pretty easy, and we're going to walk through that procedure right now. What you're going to need to do is just a 10 millimeter socket. I use an extension just because it's a little bit easier and a 3 inch, 3 8 inch drive to do it. Uh, to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and remove the electrical. And to do that, what you do is you're going to pop off this electrical connection. To do so, you'll see there's a red, red clip on the back. What you're going to do is you're going to pull this out a little bit and that's going to allow you to be able to pull this clip up. So once you remove the electrical connection, just get it out of the way. Next is going to be the hard plastic line and this is able to be rotated. And when you rotate it a little bit like this counterclockwise, it makes getting to the release a little bit easier. The release is located on the back side of it, facing towards the engine. And there's just a little tab here that you're going to push to the side. And when you push to the side, it allows this tube to come off. If you look up underneath here, you can see this tab. That tab is located right there. You push it to the side like that, you can see how that opens up and allows you to pull that hose off. Once those two are off, then take your 10 millimeter socket, come in, and remove the single bolt that's holding it in place. Once you remove that bolt, set it to the side, make sure it doesn't drop down into the engine bay, and then the EVAP purge solenoid will pull directly off like that. This is the EVAP purge solenoid that we just pulled off. I know this is a good one. Uh, the simple way to check it is that you're going to want to blow through this nipple up on top up here. So what you do is you're going to take a nice big breath and try to blow through it. You do not want to be able to blow any air through the EVAP purge solenoid at all. So when you build up that pressure in your mouth, you want it to be able to hold pressure without moving at all. This purge solenoid is actually one that's, that's bad that we just replaced. And if you come in and try blowing through this one, you can hear that it's, it's blowing air directly through the purge solenoid itself. It doesn't take very much of a leak at all for this to go bad. Um, it doesn't have to be as bad as this one where you can actually hear it and easily feel it going through. If you feel it, that the pressure inside your mouth is going down at all when you're testing this, the EVAP purge solenoid is bad and you need to replace it. They're relatively inexpensive. Uh, Rock Auto sells them uh, for, I checked today, $17. Um, I think the dealer charges a little bit more for that in the $20 range. So they're, they're not that expensive to replace. Very, very simple to replace. Reinstallation is really pretty simple. You're going to take it, push it down into the intake manifold like so. Take the bolt that you removed, set it back into place. Tighten it down with the socket. And snug it up. Once that bolt is back in place, take the hard plastic line. That's going to push down on top of that nipple and you'll hear it click into place. And once it clicks in, it's good. And then lastly, push the electrical connection back on. That's basically how to test and replace the EVAP purge solenoid on the car. Uh, if you have any other questions as far as concerning this, send them over to tech at ddmworks.com. We'll get back to you. Or you can give us a call at 864-907-6004. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have for us. Once again, thanks a lot. My name is Dave at DDM Works.